the building in 310, right here? Yes. And so you think he crawled all the way down here where he was found? I didn't say that. How did he get there? I don't know. Okay. So you lost sight of him at that point? When he rounded the corner, yes, I lost sight of him. And when he's on this corner and he's crawling, he's obviously crawling on this grass. He was crawling toward the corner in the grass. Crawling down this way? He was crawling. You know, would you like me to show you? Pardon? Can I, can I show yes, you? Yes, yes. Uh, let me make sure I got it. Let me just adjust the thing I want to see. He was in the grass crawling for this corner. Okay. How did his sunglasses get over here? I don't know. And if there's a bullet strike down here, do you think that you shot any down here? No. So back to Exhibit 311, you don't know where you were standing in relationship to this Dodge car? Yes, correct. And, uh, but you know you were standing by this Dodge car? I was somewhere in the area of that Dodge car. That's what I was running toward. On your gun, do your bullets eject to the right or to the left? To, to, uh, well, um, not to the left. They don't pop straight up. Uh, they, depending on, on factors, they may not always eject directly to the right. And I am not an expert in that, but I, but I do know that. But generally, if, if you're holding your gun up, your bullets are generally going to eject to your right. Generally, yes. Okay. All right. They might pop up a little bit. They might go down faster. Depending on... On various conditions, they, it may it, it it may not be exactly to the right. And again, I'm not familiar with with all of that. Okay. So, but generally speaking, you are going to be to the left of wherever we find your casings. General, like at the range, generally, yes. Okay. And you've shot lots of shots at the range, right? Yes. After you shoot three shots back here by this dodge, by this dodge, you then stop. That allows you to pause. I don't know how many shots I fired. You know, oh, you don't know how many shots you fired from back there? Yes, correct. If there's three casings, is that a pretty good indication that you fired three shots back there? Yes. Okay. So, however many shots that you fire from back there, when you're finished shooting back here. Then you started looking around. Um, well, again, I have a problem with that because, as I explained before, um, you keep you keep pointing. It's like you want me to put myself in a specific spot, and what I'm trying to explain is that I don't know exactly where I was in relation to the Dodge. You were to the west of the Dodge. You obviously weren't on top of it. Right? I was not on top okay. of it. So you were to the west of the Dodge. Don't, I don't know where I was okay. exactly in relation to the Dodge. Okay. But you remember that you ran towards the Dodge because that was cover? Yes. Okay. After you fire off some shots, you then see something. What do you see on the ground in front of you? Um, you're wrong. Um, 
I saw Officer Hawley not in front of me. As I said before, uh, he was down on the ground to my left. And Officer Hawley is on the ground with a gunshot wound. Okay. These are hard, and I don't mean for them to be insensitive questions, but which direction was his head facing? Down. Okay, which, which direction was it? Was his body laying facing west, east, north, south? Northwest. His head is to the northwest. Yes. Okay. And it's on the driver's side of the Kia. Yes. Not right behind the Kia. Yeah, correct. Okay. Toward the rear, though. Towards the rear, somewhere towards the rear of the Kia, but not behind the Kia. Yes. If Patsy said that he was right behind the Kia, you don't agree with that, do you? Objection. Vouching. Jury can determine what Ms. Jones said overall. Yeah. I, I, can just, I can just tell you what, what I saw. Right. And that, that's, that's not where I saw him. And we can corroborate that because you went over and, and physically took Officer Holly by the collar and pulled him away, right? Yes, but I don't know. I don't know to what extent that would corroborate corroborate that. But I did do that, and I did see where he was on the ground. When you started moving with Officer Holly, did you initially start moving in the direction of the Kia? No. Did you immediately start moving in the direction of the Dodge? Yes. When you started moving in the direction of the Dodge and you stopped, before the other officers got there, somebody else came up, didn't they? Yes. Not Patsy, somebody else. Yes. You didn't mention that person yesterday, did you? No. But another person came up before the officers got there and tried to give you a helping hand. Yes. You just forgot that that guy had come up yesterday when you were testifying? No, that's not, that's not true. But you didn't mention him yesterday. I was answering questions yesterday. I'm correct, you didn't mention him yesterday? I was not asked, asked, asked that question. You said that you hit Brian on one of your shots. Did you say which shot? No. You, do you, as you sat here and thought about it today and as you thought about it in the past, you know which shot it was that hit Brian? No. Let's turn on your transcript to page, uh, the interview at scene transcript, to page 12, lines 7 through 8. written this down wrong.
We're sending some. We're, We're looking for right now. My records indicate that uh, you said that you shot him on your third or fourth shot. Do you remember saying that? Yesterday, what I remember saying, it was one of my first few shots. First few shots? Okay. And that could be your third or fourth? Okay. Yes. Okay. And yesterday you told us that when you ran, after, after the scene has been cleared, you, uh, I'm sorry, after, after, after her, Officer Holly has been removed, has been moved in the car, the police car, you then um, eventually went to where Brian was laid on the ground. Yes. And you told us precisely who was standing there yesterday. You told us precisely who was standing there with the shotgun when you testified yesterday? No. Who was standing there with the shotgun? What, what I remember was Officer Pittman running across the street with the shotgun. Okay. Thank you. Okay, at the, the transcript, uh, not the one at the scene, the other transcript, page 12, line 7 through 8, the right page, I got the wrong transcript. Oops. Page 12, what line? Line 7 and 8. So you, at, at this point, will you agree that you told at least the uh, interviewer that you shot at him and hit him either the third or the fourth shot? Objection improper impeachment. He's admitted. Of course, there's um, overruled. From our feet. You can answer. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? Now that you've refreshed your recollection, do you remember telling your interviewer that you hit Brian on your third or fourth shot. No, but since that's consistent with the first few shots, uh, that that uh, it's logical to me, but I, I don't remember specifically saying that. All right, thank you. Are we sending sound? Oh, okay, you can hear it right now? Okay, you watching my feed? Is it my feed or are you watching my We've got one last thing to cover. After you have okay, just, uh, discovered Officer Holly on the ground, let me back up. When you discovered Officer Holly on the ground, that was the first time you had seen him since the shooting started. Yes. Hey, thanks a lot. You discover him on the ground before any other help comes, and you start broadcasting Officer Down. Yes. Before you even went to Officer Holly, you started yelling to him, right? Yes. And you yelled, at Officer Holly, Officer Holly, I'm over here, come to me. Something, something, word similar to that, yes. And uh, he didn't move. He, he couldn't move to me. He never, he did, you never saw him. He, he, I did see movements, but he couldn't move to me. Then you pulled him across the street by yourself, right? Yes. And you're broadcasting, and as you get him across the street, other officers start showing up? So are you asking me if I was on my radio while I was dragging him? I think that's what you said. Okay. So I'm well, well, dragging him across the street broadcasting, and uh, I was not, I was not, when I was dragging him, I was not broadcasting. When you got across the street, is that when you radioed for help? No. When did you first radio for help? When I, after the shots had been, had been fired, and I saw that Officer Hawley, uh, I, when I saw him down on the ground, and that he had been shot. How soon thereafter did people show up? I don't know exactly. Possibly? It, it, to me, it seemed like forever, so I, I, I don't know uh, exactly how long. Who shows up first? Officer Wilkins. How does he show up? Does he show up running or does he drive up? He drives up. 
And does he drive up to a position right behind uh, yours and Officer Holly's car? I don't remember. Did anybody else drive in? Yes. Who else drove in? Officer McLean and Officer Brady. So two cars drive in or three? Well, three for sure. Uh, eventually, lots of cars were, were driving in. But when I say drive in, did three cars pull up into the area on 60th Avenue? I don't remember. I, I don't remember exactly where they parked. I was um, focused on other things. Sir, sir. So I don't remember exactly where they parked. One car, one car pulled up somewhere. You ran back, got in it, pulled it up farther. Yes. Did you pull it up here on the sidewalk? I don't remember. Okay. Do you know whose car it was you pulled up? No, I don't. Uh, it was the, the first car I could get to. I just grabbed a car and I dro drove it up. I don't remember exactly where I parked. By, this, by the time that you pulled the car up, how many police officers were here helping you? Three. You loaded Officer Holly into a car and you drove, and you didn't drive him, correct? Correct. Somebody drove him back on 60th Avenue and then up on uh, Oregon. Yes, that's true, except I didn't load him by myself. I, I, there were other officers helping me. Right. Yes. You and the three other officers, some combination of the, three, of the four of you, loaded Officer Holly and the car drove off, but it wasn't you driving the car. And I don't know the exact the exact number, so when you say combination, yes, it was me and some other officers loaded, loaded him up, but I did not drive. And then what did you do? I used my radio to provide uh, updates and to start to um, direct officers as to um, how are we going to get you know this this guy? How are we going to get him into custody? So I got on my radio and I was providing information to the other officers. Now, the, the fire people, fire department, were further down Oregon, further uh, east on Oregon, correct? Yes. And the car that exited went uh, south on 60th and then east on Oregon. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember that, or if I even saw that. And the last time you've seen the suspect, he was also headed east on Oregon. No, the last time I saw the suspect, he was, he rounded the corner, and then I don't know what he did after that. But then you saw him again after you broadcast and, and you said you're directing operations. You see him again. He's yes. on the ground. Yes. And you run up to him. Yes. And as you're running up, you see another officer running up to him. No, I saw an officer run across the street with a shotgun. So I knew that he was running toward the shooter. And so then I started running and I, and I ran. And uh, the officer with the shotgun got to him before you did? Yes. And you went to cuff him, but you realized you didn't have cuffs? Yes. And so somebody else cuffed him? Other officers assisted me in cuffing him. Well, you didn't put the cuffs on, right? I don't remember. I remember manipulating the, the cuffs. I don't know if I, was, if I actually put them on the wrist first, but I remember actually closing the cuffs on the defendant's wrists. Okay, so the picture we saw yesterday, I'm sure everybody remembers it. There was a cluster of police officers. You were standing around. I'm sorry, a cluster of police officers standing around the defendant, Brian Holsey, who's laying on the prone on the ground, right? Remember that picture from yesterday? I, I don't know if I'd call that prone. He was laying on the ground. Okay, he's laying on the ground. A bunch of officers standing around him. One of them on his back. I'm sorry? One of them on his back. An one of them on Brian's back. An officer on his back? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. All right. And... Somebody putting, Brian's hands are behind him in the picture. Yes. And somebody's putting cuffs on him, but that wasn't you, you said. Uh, that, 
the, a, a picture cannot cannot show an, an, an action or, or movement. So I would not agree with you that that's a picture of somebody putting cuffs on him. I don't agree with that. Okay. That's, draw, that's not. Draw our own conclusions for what, for what the action stands for. Okay. But suffice it to say, you were out to the side. Yes. You were, you were not in that picture. Yes. I'm showing you what's marked as Exhibit 192. It's been admitted, correct? Yes, sir. And you see Seven officers in that picture, right? Yes. And none of them are you? Yes. And they seem to be holding his hands behind his back? No. Is this not one of his arms and not his other hand? Yes, and that's one officer doing that, yes. So someone's holding him down and holding his hand behind his back. Is he cuffed at this point? Yes. And whether or not that person is holding him down, I, I, I don't think that the picture tells us that. I see one officer with his hands on his arm. What did you say to Brian as you ran up to him? After I heard, after I heard him. Pardon? I, res I responded to him, to him, I responded to him um, complaining about his leg. What was the first thing you said to him as you ran up to him? I don't remember exactly. I said something, I said something like, you're going to shoot at the police and now you want to complain about your leg? Isn't the first thing you said to him when you ran up to him, you had your gun out, right? Yes. You said, don't move, I'm gonna, I'll shoot you. Don't move or I'll shoot you. I don't remember. You told that to the officers that interviewed you. Think that might be correct? It, it may be. All right, thank you. One second. natural break point so why don't we go ahead and take our afternoon uh, break we're going to take a break for about 15 minutes or so so until then remember you have an initial we'll see you in about 15 minutes Please the presence of the jury. State need to put anything no. on the record? Defense? No, sir, thank you. All right. I'll see you in about 15 minutes.